everyone, my name is Danny, and today I'm here with James, Aisha, and Lane. Today we're going to talk about the top five common mistakes while rowing and how to fix them. Rowing is an excellent full body workout, but there are certain common mistakes that can hinder your rowing experience and your efficiency. So, are you ready? Let's dive in. Mistake number one, rushing the stroke. What it looks like, getting to the front of the screen too quickly. Why it's important to fix. Rushing the stroke is not a sustainable rowing technique. Other components of your stroke suffer as a result, making it challenging to maintain consistent performance and achieve fitness goals. How to fix it. Focus on a smooth and controlled recovery. Start with the arms away from the body, then pivot the body over, then bend the legs. We want our hands to be past our knees before we bend them. A controlled stroke will optimize your rowing efficiency and improve endurance. Mistake number two, neglecting proper posture. What it looks like, hunching over with rounded shoulders and a curved back, causing strain on the spine and reducing the effectiveness of each stroke. Why it's important to fix. Proper posture ensures maximum power transfer, minimizes the risk of injury, and allows for better breathing and oxygen intake during your workout. How to fix it. Sit tall with your shoulders back and your core engaged. Keep your back and core connected throughout the rowing stroke and avoid leaning excessively forward or backward. Maintain a neutral spine position to optimize rowing performance. Mistake number three, excessive layback. What it looks like. Leaning too far back at the end of the stroke can compromise your form and make it hard to maintain connection to your stroke. Why it's important to fix. Excessive layback can lead to discomfort and lower back pain while also reducing the efficiency of your rowing stroke. How to fix it? Lean back slightly at the end of the stroke, as if you were at 11 o'clock. Focus in on, on engaging your core to support your lower back and maintain connection to the foot cords while maintaining a controlled lean. Mistake number four, using only arm strength. What it looks like. Relying primarily on your arms to perform the rowing stroke, neglecting the engagement of the larger muscle groups like your back, legs, and core. Why it's important to fix. Depending solely on arm strength leads to early fatigue and limits the power output of each stroke, preventing you from maximizing your rowing potential. How to fix it. Initiate the drive with your legs by pushing against the footboards. As your legs are extending, engage your core and back, and then use your arms at the very end of the stroke to pull the handle into the chest. Mistake number five, setting the drag too high or too low. What it looks like, the drag setting controls the level of tension on the rowing machine. Drag is usually set to match what taking a stroke would feel like on the water, and on a hydro, that setting is 104. Why it's important to fix. Incorrect settings can impact your rowing experience, affecting your ability to reach progress and potentially causing unnecessary strain on your body. If the drag setting is too low, it may be difficult to find resistance, and if it's too high, it can affect your ability to reach higher rhythm numbers. How to fix it. Experiment with different drag settings to find the one that suits your fitness level and goals. Generally, a setting between 100 and 110 on a hydro is ideal. By addressing these five common mistakes while rowing, you can improve your rowing technique, enhance your overall experience, and reduce the risk of injuries. Remember to prioritize a smooth stroke, maintain proper posture, and avoid excessive layback. Remember to also engage your larger muscle groups and adjust the drag setting to optimize your rowing experience. The Hydro is an incredible rowing machine to learn and train on. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for tips and tricks on all things spinning.